everyone, welcome to today's uh, episode of our vlog. Do you know that you have a purpose in this channel? Do you have a purpose? We are here now at Destiny City Church. And it's our first day of school training. Uh, Jill couldn't come because uh, she's not feeling well, but yeah. Awesome, this is an awesome place here at Ross City. So we're gonna enjoy today, guys. God bless. Connect with 
Jesus. He's the center of that project. Amen. I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He's the head of the church, not the headache of the church. He's the head of the church. And he said in Matthew 16, Therefore I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. There is a binding and losing business that we need to be involved. Uh, I don't look like you. And maybe you are happy that you don't look like me. And the gifts, the gifts are distributed in the church. And uh, our, our lecturer this morning is not just a theoretician, he is a practitioner. I met Lori accidentally. Or by the way, In the 1980s, uh, Lori has been uh, very active in, as an evangelist. And one time he had uh, been contacted by, by a four square group in Romblon, and uh, Lori out of his generous heart wanted to help them, and they had some project in Romblon. And then one of the things that they wanted to do uh, with that is they visit Raw City, because during that time, there were two uh, pioneering pastors of First Square Church here in Raw City. But Lori is an Assembly of God, the Presidential Order. Assemblies of God, is we can function everywhere. You understand? So they arranged for for that crusade here for Lori, and they discovered that the two pioneering pastors already fall away. They they abandoned the work. They left. So the organizer said, "What shall we do? Lori is ready to preach." So they they contacted me, and uh, we accommodated Lori. And that was our introduction to, to the work of God in this life, a ministry, a ministry that has been filled with plenty of supernatural manifestations and, and that God has uh, manifested many miracles and healings, word of wisdom, word of knowledge in those meetings and after several years of regular visits here as well. And uh, eventually we, we tried to... Uh, twist his arm to come here regularly to, to teach the Adiburian on the practical side of, uh, of uh, entering the supernatural. I have witnessed uh, many times because I would interpret for him that God is still in the word of the supernatural. Amen. The, the, the miraculous side of the church should be more normal than the than a normal. The miraculous side of the church should be normal. And that is what he believes, that's what I learned from him. And so this morning, let us welcome the presence of the Lord and also for to welcome our beloved evangelist. Most of you, it's a negative. You look so unreasonable. 
<laughs> you look so unreasonable. That's a negative, isn't it? When someone says to you, don't be so unreasonable. Mm. It's a negative. But we take this negative and we put it into a positive regarding the supernatural. Yeah. Because it becomes that which, praise the Lord, we have to be unreasonable or think unreasonable or have no reason to be able to produce the supernatural because when we have no reason, we cannot see it, we cannot think it, we cannot perceive it, we cannot put it into our into our diction, we cannot put it into our, our mental thoughts because it's a mindset of nothingism. That's not even a word, is it? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's nothing. And that's what we require. Teachers, I find, are the hardest to accept the supernatural. Teachers and evangelists are like two bulls in a paddock. They're like this. They're like this because the teacher says, this is unreasonable. How can you say that? It's unreasonable that you have a word of knowledge. It's unreasonable that someone jumps up out of a wheelchair. It, it does not have any philosophy to it. It has no reason to it. And so the evangelist is over here and says, well, I don't understand it. But I don't want to understand it. If I understand it, it becomes me, and it doesn't become God. Uh -huh. So what you have to do is allow God into the equation. And to let God into the equation, it must be unreasonable. But we're living in the end days. Amen. It's not the problem. Young people will rise up. They will volunteer. Why? They say, because this is how I want to spend my the rest of the days and years of my life. Yes. They have reason for their existence. So motivation, I believe, is the, <coughs> the rise and fall of mission lies on motivation. Yes. You have to advocate, you have to speak about, about the heart of God on missions. Yes. If people do not have missions... Let us read this vision, okay? Together, go. Saturate the mind with Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, what is this? I'm sorry, this is correct exactly. Saturation challenge, that's the wrong word, is a vision to see an assemblies of God, church, planted in every 